Come one, come all, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the pilot episode of Total Drama Plebs, where eight lucky contestants, divided into two teams, will fight to survive. Every other day, the Sly Grandmas and Tiger Bees will be given a challenge to determine who stays and who goes home. What amazing prize are they fighting for? Why, the title of Camp TDP King, of course. I'm serious, that's the only prize. Now before you go getting your lawyers, there was supposed to be a prize of 10,000 tacos, but our budget isn't that great, so we had to cut that part out. Maybe you should have read the fine print before signing the contract. Oh well, let's meet the lovely contestants. First, let's meet the Sly Grandmas. Our first contestant is Marcina Chicken, the leader of the Sly Grandmas. This gal loves to cook and dreams of one day being a master chef. She's a foodie, neat, and a loner. Granny Red is next, and he dreams of being a jack of all trades, but a master of none. He's a renaissance sim. He's erratic, neat, and clumsy. Next up, we have H.G. Vincent, who also has dreams of being a renaissance sim. He is hot-headed, materialistic, and a geek. The final member of the Sly Grandmas is Don Key, who wants to be a bodybuilder. He's quite active, a loner, and a bro. Now let's meet the Tiger Bees. Tiger Tiger is next, and she dreams of being a best-selling author. The leader of the Tiger Bees, she is lazy, a slob, and a cat lover. Next up is Cars a Loser. Her dream is to be fabulously wealthy. She chose the wrong show for that. She's creative, active, and outgoing. On to Dorian Killam, who dreams of being a musical genius. He's creative, a music lover, and a geek. The final member of the Tiger Bees is Kay Corey, who wants to be the chief of mischief. He's creative, clumsy, and a glutton. And there we have it, folks. Who do you think will come out on top? Place your bets now by visiting theseplebsgonedie.com.co today. We'll see you soon for the very first episode of Total Drama Plebs. Before Cartoon Network went to the dogs, it actually had some pretty good cartoons. Unbelievable, I know. One of those shows was called Total Drama Island, or TDI, which I loved more than I probably should have. Did you know it was originally from Canada? I didn't realize this until I started doing research for this challenge. Guess that explains why it's so much better than the American cartoons. Now, if you don't know what TDI is about, it takes 22 teenage contestants and puts them on a camp-style island where they are put into two teams, the Killer Bass and the Screaming Gophers. They must compete to stay on the island by winning challenges and ultimately winning the grand pot prize of $100,000. It's meant to be a parody of shows such as Fear Factor and other survival shows and in my opinion, it's the best damn el elimination show ever made. To play on nostalgia, I decided to turn TDI into a challenge, which I did post on my old blog but it's quite outdated and unused. I also lost my save so I couldn't finish. With that in mind, I decided to start over and give it a fresh little edit. For this challenge, I'll be completely bulldozing the world of Windenburg and building a rundown camp on the island. Naturally, I'll be using the cheapest items possible as it's supposed to be quite rundown and grody. Once I have the cabins built, I'll be moving on to another lot to build the lunchroom, aka a restaurant. The ingredients will be the cheapest and lowest quality possible, and it'll only serve hot dogs, juice, hamburgers, and water. Next, I'll use money cheats to give the group enough money to buy it and then set it to disallow new customers so no NPC spawn. Then I'll remove the money down to zero. The contestants can only eat once a day, so I've chosen to have them all eat at 1pm. I have made a list of the original contestants and the traits that match them, but for this playthrough I'll be using some of my friends instead. I've also changed the killer bass and screaming gophers to the sly grandmas and the tiger bees. Every other sim day, a challenge must take place to determine who goes home. This is an elimination game after all. To put it simply, on Monday a challenge will take place and sim 1 is up for elimination. On Tuesday, the group rests and does whatever they want. On Wednesday, another challenge will take place and sim 2 is up for elimination. Then you flip a coin to decide if sim 1 or sim 2 will be going home. However, if both sims are on the same team, sim 2 automatically goes home. I've got a list of challenges that I'll be using a random number generator to choose from. Control of each sim is forbidden, aside from claiming beds and ordering food at the restaurant. Aging will be turned off. 
I didn't get very far into this challenge the first time around, but it was quite fun to see what everyone got up to and who won the challenges. I hope everyone that watches this also enjoys the series. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the very first episode of Total Drama Plebs. Tiger out!